Now we're going to work through the Person Constructor Challenge. Let's read through the instructions. Create a function Person Constructor that uses the this keyword to save a single property onto its scope called greet. Greet should be a function that logs the string hello. So it looks like we're being asked to use the this keyword to add a property onto the scope of the constructor and we'll call that greet. But how do we actually use the this keyword to do that? Let's get a hint from the MDN web docs for the this keyword. If we scroll down a bit, we'll find a section on constructors. It tells us that when a function is used as a constructor with the new keyword, it's this is bound to the new object being constructed. So that's interesting. We're going to be using the constructor with the new keyword. And we get an example here of how constructors work and how they look. And this my constructor function looks a little bit like the person constructor that we're being asked to define. So in the my constructor function, we can create properties on this. And again, this is going to stand in for the new object that's being constructed inside the constructor. And we also see that we can use dot notation. So we assign this dot, whatever the property's name is, to be equal to that property's value. Let's give that a shot. First, we'll outline what we want to do. We're going to assign a property called greet to this. That greet property has a function as its value the function logs hello. So again, using dot notation, we will assign to the this object a property called greet, and we assign it the value of a function that logs to the console the string hello. We've got an example here. We're assigning to the constant called Simon the return value of calling this person constructor with the new keyword. Well, what's going on there? If we look at the MDN docs for the new operator, we see that it creates an instance of a user-defined object type. So when we do something like new foo, we're creating a new object. And the constructor function foo is called with whatever arguments it might have. We won't worry about that too much right now. But the point is that we've got a constructor function right here that we can use. and that new keyword will get us a new object. So I'll uncomment this line that is calling the greet method that we just defined on the person constructor. And we anticipate that we'll see the string hello being logged to the console. Let's give that a shot. And it looks like that's working.